Hi everyone, Gavin Townsend here down at the Reddit Sports Nutrition Store, open Monday to Saturday. I've been in the sports nutrition game for many years now and I've been a personal trainer for about 14 years and I've helped a lot of people uh, with their nutrition, exercise, lifestyle habits and in recent years I've been identifying with the likes of uh, the mindset and supplementation should always be taken alongside a good balanced nutrition strategy. Uh, in recent years, um, the likes of protein bars have become quite a, a healthier uh, option to chocolate bars and junk food. However, there are still healthier snacks available, such as nuts, seeds, and uh, other types of proteins that the body can work with better. I'm very open and transparent with uh, the products that I promote and how I promote them to clients, because I look at the long term and I like the fact that I've got hundreds and thousands of customers coming back each and every month and coming back for reviews and buying product all the time. Um, in recent months, in this year especially, has been the rise of gimmicks, uh, especially in sports nutrition. I've been quite open about this because I've seen a lot of decent, good quality products by certain brands drop out of the market, mainly because the sales haven't been as popular as they probably expected. So sometimes I look at the likes of um, a product, I don't look at the packaging, I actually look, to, look at the active ingredients on the package. And if I can identify with the manufacturer, the manufacturing process, and the likes of the actual ingredients on the packaging, and if I like the look of it, I'll pretty much use it myself. And unfortunately, there's a lot of products out on the market today where the packaging is outselling um, the, the decent ingredients by another brand, pretty much because branding and packaging is selling it more to the consumer. So we're all aware of the brand Mars. Uh, it's a brand that started many years ago uh, as a chocolate bar. Now they're doing uh, the Mars protein and there's also been the birth of the protein bounty. There's also the likes of the protein Snickers. In recent weeks I found out they're doing the protein Yorkie bar which is actually one of my favorite chocolate bars and we've just now bought in the actual protein Milky Way bar. So we're selling these by the individual, but also by the box. Uh, currently in store, but soon online as well. And I'll be perfectly honest and, and frank with you. Um, if I was to have a, a snack in preference to protein bars, I'd actually have um, nuts and seeds, something more um, healthier, I'll be honest. But then if it's a choice of, say, going to the cinema or a, a snack option in preference to chocolate or, or general junk food, I'd consider a protein bar. Um, best time to have protein bars, I'd say, is after exercise. Um, but I'd recommend not eating too many of them because you can get quite bloated and congested. Um, the likes of these new uh, gimmicks that are out on the market, plain and simply put, We've never had so much health and fitness awareness, but people are still not looking at the basics such as uh, sugar intake. And everyone's got a sweet tooth because we're pretty much born into this whole world of sugar, um, especially in Western culture. Uh, I'm always of the attitude if you lived in, a, in the Far East or in the middle of the desert and you had no access to sugar, well, you wouldn't eat it. So therefore your taste buds would notice um, sugar intake if you suddenly ate lots of it and it's only until you actually wean yourself off sugar and go completely teetotal um, you, you then start tasting the sugars when you start re, re uh, introducing them into the system so if you do have protein bars if you're used to eating chocolate and junk food on a day-to-day -day basis like a pack of crisps and chocolate bar yes okay a healthier alternative would be a protein bar and I'll probably restrict it to one a day. Try and look at the likes of fruit and nuts and seeds as a, a healthy alternative. And now some people are probably watching this video thinking I'm doing myself an injustice, but again, by being straight and transparent with people, I actually get more sales as a result. So again, there's some new gimmicks out on the market. Um, bars that I wouldn't personally live on myself, but as a healthy alternative, one to consider. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Facebook as well. Visit me on gavintownsend.com or visit in store. Thank you for watching.